Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today I'm going to tell you what I think about Cuba fragrances. So Cuba fragrances, if you don't know about them, they are called Cuba Paris. Um, basically, they are fragrances that are in a bottle in the shape of a cigar. There's a bunch of them and they are all extremely cheap. Uh, it will be like around six, seven dollar Canadian for 30 ml and twelve dollar for 100 ml. Come inside a metal can, um, well, not a can, but like a cigar. It came in the same kind of packaging as a cigar. The 100 ml is just bigger than an actual cigar. Still have that kind of pattern. So having told the price and told you how the packaging is nice, you can expect that it's not going to be high quality fragrance. And it's true, it's not like crazy quality. But I still think that it's worth it. There's many reasons why I think it's a really great brand. One of the reasons is that the fragrance are so cheap that it doesn't matter if you blind buy it. Even if the fragrance is horrible, it's so cheap that it's not such a problem. Another thing that I think it's really nice is, again, because it's super cheap, usually, you know, when there's a little something missing in your cart, like an extra bottle, if you need like five bottle discounter to get free shipping, or if you're an, um, on Amazon and you're liking like $2 or something like that, usually the price of a bottle is cheaper than the shipping. So if you're buying this to get extra shipping, that's one more fragrance in your collection and it's worth it. Even if the fragrance, you hate it, you saved money getting a fragrance in those cases. So I think that's really good fragrance to just buy, blind buy and get it like that for those reasons. It's cheap and can even make you save money. Now the fragrance itself, I was pretty surprised. It looks cheap. Some of them are cheap. There's like the red. They are most of all have a color name. So the red one is, it was smelling really good for a $6 fragrance, but longevity was really bad. Uh, also, some of them are not super good, but there are some of them that are really good. It's really about finding the right fragrance. The one that you think is really good, like that the original is good. As long as great two notable fragrance will be cuba gold that is extremely well known it's probably if you know only one fragrance by that brand it's most likely this one and it's known by some as the original le mal by others clone of le mal which doesn't really matter it's not the same kind of quality and whatever which one arrived first it's still le mal that change the world of perfumery and that Cuba Gold is really good. If you like that DNA, it's a really great fragrance to have. It comes with in a metal can and everything. It's small, you can bring it in a trip and that's better than bringing Le Mal in a trip. But the fragrance itself is good. A bit more masculine than Le Mal. And there is also Cuba Prestige. I haven't tried like a lot of them, but Cuba Prestige is really good, which is a clone of Amen. It doesn't go in the same direction, but it's, it smells similar. Personally, I don't have Amen. I do have Cuba Gold and Le Mal, but I don't have Amen. I have a little sample. It's not like a super scent profile that I would reach all the time for, but having Cuba Prestige, I think it just covered a base. And I think it's something nice also with that brand. If there's a scent profile and you just want to have a bottle that have that scent profile without like wearing it all the time, it's a good brand. For the price, it's hard to be harsh on them. They do mean they make clones of stuff that are well known. They do their own twist, which is a good thing. Maybe also it's because it's hard to make clones of a more expensive fragrance and be that cheap because they might use expensive or more expensive ingredient. That might just be the reason, but still they're doing it in their own way. So they're not just a clone house. They're making their own stuff, getting inspired by others, which I think is a good thing. Clone house have their space, but fragrance house that do their own twist of something popular can have a bit more merit because they work a little bit more on their stuff. Personally, I find them good and I want to buy a bunch of them so I can do review because they were cheap and it's not really something I would say that it's good to go buy a bunch of them just like to have more fragrance, but definitely it's something that I think worth adding in your card to have free shipping and it's not something you would be really disappointed. I think it's a great brand. They do great stuff for their price point. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. In this case, we'll like and share. And if you have a different opinion on the Cuba fragrance, tell me what you think about them. So thanks for watching.
and see you soon.